to our kitchen tour here today. My goal for today is not only to show you all the nooks and crannies, but also my reasoning of why things are set up the way they are. The way that I have things set up in our kitchen is really to help maximize efficiencies from morning routines to cooking every day. So hoping that kind of sheds through this video. All right, let's get started. A frequent question that we get is where is the kitchen located? It's actually right off of the front door. Our house was previously built in the 50s and each room was enclosed so the owners before us tore down each wall to make this open concept. With that, the gas line stayed up here in the front of the house versus moving it to the back of the house like a modern floor plan. You can see here our house used to be all gray. Gray black splash, gray countertops. The first thing that we did when we moved in was removing that backsplash and installed the subway tile which was a more cost effective backsplash but still timeless. Eventually we replaced all the counters with this white marble like quartz and added waterfalls to each side of the island. Another favorite reno was adding these open shelves. As much as I wanted to do a full wall of open shelves, we opted for two small sections to keep some hidden storage. There are two main stations that I've designated in the kitchen, mainly to keep things just concise and organized. The first station I'll show you is the espresso station. I keep this plate here to catch espresso grounds when tampering. Espresso cups are in here and all of our cups and plate storage as well, which is right next to our fridge and our ice maker. For water, we use the water spout near the sink since it dispenses faster. In the sink area, we have a sink caddy that homes all of our dishwashing needs, brushes in this clay jaritos jar that I got from our local Mercado, hand and dish soap dispensers, and a bamboo rack near the sink for some items that we like to hand wash. On the other side of the kitchen are the other set of shelves, which we have some cookbooks and daily pantry items like chia seeds or Chemex coffee. And then my second designated station in the kitchen is this cooking caddy. I keep everything I use for cooking in here like oil, salt and pepper, garlic, and shallots. This could also be kind of like our third station for our morning routines since our kettle and our milk frother fits on the thrifted cutting board really nicely. Near the stove are my spices and an overflow cabinet for more spices and more things for cooking. And for the stove itself, we went with this dual oven in stainless steel to match the stainless steel hood that was already here. Back at the kitchen island in this cabinet, we have some random pots and pans. I also store our small appliances in here um, with the main goal to keep our counters clear. The usual things are in these drawers, cooking utensils, knives, silverware, and dish towels. Oh, and my recycled jar storage. On this smaller island, we keep our Alexa speaker here. This is where you hear all of my music in my videos to keep the vibe going. And everyone has a junk drawer, right? I keep this messy since things are relatively structured in my opinion. This is also where Tyler's fast food coupons go to die. He never uses them. More overflow of serveware in here. And then right off the kitchen is the pantry. We are greeted by the DIY slat barn door that we made. We never really close this, it's really just for looks. Um, and inside we built this cabinet system. We also keep our microwave and toaster oven in here, again for the goal to keep the kitchen counters clear. Alright, that completes the tour. I think I got everything. I don't know if I did, but if I didn't, comment down below what you want to see a little bit further. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming by. See you later.